Hey everybody, uh, this lesson is writing and solving one-step inequalities. This is almost exactly like um, writing and solving one-step equations, except for one twist. Okay, so here's our common core strand for our most grooviest teachers, and then our our question here is how can we write and solve one-step inequalities? Okay, so um, uh, your textbook does a lot of exploratory um, discovery stuff, and I'm skipping that. I hope you don't mind. I'm just going to jump right to the chase, you guys. The following properties are true for inequalities. Now, inequalities are less than signs or greater than signs or less than or equal to or greater than or equal to you know the arrows pointing have you heard of the the crocodile eats the bigger number or pac-man eats the bigger number so so um, uh, here's the first rule we can add or subtract the same number from both sides of an inequality and the inequality uh, is still true it still goes in the same direction so if we multiply or divide both sides of an inequality by a positive number then the inequality is still true it stays in the same direction however when we multiply or divide both sides by a negative number you have to flip the inequality and it changes directions here's an example you guys so now, can you see that 5 is definitely greater than 1 right here? But if you multiply this side by negative 1 and this side by negative 1, then it gives you negative 5 and negative 1, and negative 5 is less than negative 1. It's to the left of negative 1 on a number line. So if it's whichever one's to the left is the smaller number. So when you multiply or divide by a negative number, you flip that sign and it goes in the other direction right there okay alright so these go pretty fast you guys we do them just like equations okay and this is where I had asked my students because you've graphed them um, uh, number lines before and I had asked my students is this an open circle or a closed circle okay and some people are thinking why what does that mean but most of you guys have done this before and you, you notice right here if there's no equals bar right here then it's an open circle if there was an equals bar right here less than or equal to then we'd fill in the circle that means we're including the solution okay so open circle so first we're going to get rid of this plus five so I'll, we'll do the inverse and go minus five minus five okay now these number lines are suited, all our number lines are going to be suited for the specific problem. Okay, so it says solve each inequality and then graph it and then check the solution. So we're going to do that with all of them. Okay, so minus 5, minus 5. Okay, now careful you guys, negative 12 minus 5 is not negative 7, it's not 7, it's negative 17. Okay, these will cancel right here. Okay open circle and as long as our variable is on the left hand side the inequality points the direction we're going to shade so it's pointing that way so we're going to open circle on negative 17 right here we'll draw an open circle and shade it the direction that the inequality is now we do that if the variable is on the left okay so here we go open circle shaded to the left all right so to check you guys just pick a number inside the shaded region on our number line and put it back into the original um, not equation inequality that should say inequality right there okay so anyways not equation so I N E Q U A. Okay, anyways, um, so when we plug that in, I'm going to I'm gonna pick, I think I picked uh, negative 18, you guys. So when I picked negative 18, uh, is negative 18 plus 5 less than negative 12? Well, negative 18 plus 5 is negative 13, and negative 13 is less than negative 12. Remember, negatives kind of work backwards, you guys. So, so negative 13 is to the left of negative 12, so that checks out. So there's our solution. X is less than negative 17. And then our graph right here, okay, it says three parts. Solve the inequality. So here it is solved algebraically. Graph it. So here it is graphed right here. And then check the solution. So we checked by plugging in some number that's in the shaded region back up into the original part of the inequality. Okay. All right. So here, let's try this one. All right. Now notice the variable is on the right side I like to have it on the left side so I'm gonna put the y minus 3 over here and put the 8 over here and then notice you guys it's pointing towards the 8 so we got to keep it pointing towards the 8 when we flip it around okay so y minus 3 is greater than or equal to 8 see how it's still pointing at that and we'll do plus 3 plus 3 
and then we get uh, y is greater than or equal to 11. I'd ask my students open or closed and hopefully you guys not recognize this is a closed circle because it's greater than or equal to. So we'll fill in 11 right here and fill it all in and then as long as your variable is on the left the inequality says go that way. So here we go. Okay and then check. Just pick a number. Um, there I did it again. So just pick a number uh, and substitute it into the original inequality. I'm trying to uh, keep these because I send these to my teachers in the district and you guys are my first uh, run through so anyway uh, okay so just pick a number I what did I pick I probably picked um, I don't know just pick any number on this side in the shaded region I forgot what I picked I picked 14 okay so since 14 is over here I'm gonna plug it back up into this original one so is 8 less than or equal to 14 minus 3 well 14 minus 3 is 11 and 8 is less than 11 so we are good okay all right let's try this one okay so now the variables on the left I don't have to flip it around we're gonna go plus 5 plus 5 careful and we do negative 7 plus 5 that's negative 2 okay close circle at negative 2 and it's going to the right pick any point plug it back into the original part so I picked 0 because 0 is in the shaded region 0 minus 5 is that greater than or equal to negative 7 yeah because remember negative 5 is to the right of negative 7 on a number line so it's bigger so that works <clears throat> excuse me while I stretch uh, okay let's try this one okay I like the variable to be on the left so I'm gonna flip it around I'm gonna put the 12 plus X on this side and put the 21 on this side notice how it's uh, the bigger end is with the 21 so we have to make sure that the bigger end of the inequality is with the 21 okay so we still got the open end of the inequality next to the 21 okay minus 12 minus 12 okay so then we get 9 so X is less than 9 open or closed it's a open circle so open at 9 and pick any point so it uh, looks like I picked 8 right here because 8 is in this shaded region so is and put it back into the original is 21 greater than 12 plus 8 well 12 plus 8 is 20 20 is 21 is greater than 21 so that does work okay all right how about this one okay all right so we got y divided by 3 greater than or equal to 5 close circle we got to multiply both sides by 3 okay so everything's good so we get uh, y is greater than or equal to 15 close circle pick a point I picked 18 is I picked 18 because 18 is divisible by 3 you can pick any point I could have picked 16 I could have picked 17 I could have picked 14 because it's closed circle it's include I'm sorry 15 it's including that but I picked 18 okay so 18 divided by 3 is 6 6 is definitely greater than or equal to uh, 5 okay all right now this one here you guys this is where our new rule kicks in you guys we got a negative in front of the X so we have to divide both sides by by negative 4 but that'll flip that inequality do you see that it goes in the other direction okay the negative 4's cancel and X is less than negative 13 open circle at negative 13 and it's going to the left okay and then pick any point in there so what did I pick I picked negative 15 because I know 4 times 15 is 60 so negative 4 times negative 15 is also a positive 60 60 is greater than 52 so it does check okay how about this one here okay so here we got a negative 10 y we got to divide both sides by negative 10 and if you multiply or divide by a negative it flips that inequality so it's going to flip it that way so we get y greater than negative 6 open circle shaded to the right okay because of that red greater than pick a number I checked um, uh, negative 4 because negative 4 is in my shaded region so is negative 10 times negative 4 less than 60 while well, negative times a negative is a positive and 10 times 4 is 40 so we get 40 is definitely less than 60 right there okay so it does check okay let's do one more you guys all right okay so first I like to um, uh, have the variable on the left so I'm gonna flip it around okay so notice um, it's the uh, the inequality is pointing towards in the direction of the fraction so just make sure it still points in the direction of the fraction and then we're gonna get rid of this says negative t divided by 6 
less than or equal to 7. So we're going to multiply both sides by this negative 6 to get rid of that because divided by with the inverse is multiply. So there we are. Notice it flipped the inequality. 7 times negative 6 is negative 42. Close circle on negative 42 and just pick a number. I picked a number that was over here because um, uh, we got to put it back into here. So some number divided by 6. We could have picked negative 42, but I picked negative 36, okay, because that would be in the shaded region. All right, so um, uh, 7, is it greater than or equal to negative, negative 36 divided by 6, okay? So we're checking that, okay? So this negative times this negative makes it a positive. 36 divided by 6 is 6. 7 is definitely greater than 6, so it does check out. All right, you guys, I hope that makes sense, and take care. Do good in school.